Some more Splatoon 3 story mode. So I'm just gonna hop right in and uh, we're gonna read some stupid posts in the plaza first, as I usually would do when I'm booting this game up. So, um, yeah. Slight difference in. Oh god, I don't like how that's going Slight difference in the setup today for the stream, because I wanted to try something a little different. So the screen's a bit bigger, but I don't know if I'm cutting off too much on the gameplay. So, if you don't like it, just let me know. I'll try to mess with it later. You look sink, we drip ink. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, it's kind of weird. I lost a battle at the last second once. One year, two days, six hours, nine seconds ago. Really? At least you don't think about it all the time, right? Man, what happened to when they talked about, like, each individual stage and, like, made funny comments? And they always say the same thing about the frickin' Sim run. They made the thing shorter, but now there's like almost no point to it because they don't really say anything unique in the thing. Like, I always used to like what they said about the stages. What the heck? Eh, whatever. Anyway. Oh, crap. Sorry. Crap. Sorry. Want to get up so we do stuff. What does that say? I'm... Inkles. I'm ready to spl- I don't know what that says. I can't read. <laughs> Grub. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go Team Grub. On the new Splatfest. It just makes sense. Like, they didn't say you have to frickin'... Uh, you're stranded on the deserted island. They just said you're visiting a deserted island. So, like... I mean, they didn't say what the stipulation was. Like, are you trapped on the deserted island? I don't know. Bruh. The animals have taken over. Okay. I love paws. I mean, they're cute, I guess. Brrrrs. Jump on the little jellyfish guy. Bruh. What does that even say? That sounds like an advertisement. That's sap sus. I want stylus. What the hell? <laughs> Man, this class is weird. Here, some oct act cooler because you're epic. <laughs> This plaza, man. Happy woomy noises. <laughs> okay, one second. Okay, let's keep going now. No more freshen. Yeah, you gotta love the Mawai head. Where uh, he is just chilling. That's kind of cool. Oh wait, that's the one I already saw. That's kind of cool. I like that one. It's neat. He commits tax fraud. True. He does. What is that? Oh. Interesting. Nice to meet you. Tomorrow I'm streaming. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, but that's advertising, so I'm not gonna like it. It's against the Nintendo code. It's, it's against the Nintendo code. It's cool. Bruh. This is the panda bear. Hi there, partner. Are you going to swim by without saying booyah? True. That's a cool owl guy. Or whatever. Wait, that's not an owl. I don't know. I can't even...
process this art. It's getting a little out of hand. Um. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna go now. I'ma just go to the story. Don't wanna spend too much time on the oh, wait, What the heck is that? Ew. Ew. Don't wanna spend too much time here this time. Let's go. Future Utopia Island. This is kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna go stand up now. Hey there, CF. How you doing? Ah, crap. I keep forgetting my head gets, like, cropped off. The camera can only see so much of the game. Or, of me, I mean. Oh, yeah, I should put on my hat. I mean... Makes me look cooler. Also a good way to see how much of my head is cropped off. Anyway, let's um find stuff. I'm not sure what to make of it, but the captain says you're always you, no matter what you look like. Quick update. I just overheard the captain say, Wow, there's got a lot of there's a lot going on in this quick beak splatoon. The captain wanted me to remind you that it's sink or swim world out there. Um, something, I don't know. Rule of the battlefield from the captain. Always keep one eye on your escape route. Things get too hairy. Duck behind a wall and take a breather. Swimming on a wall will be to do a squid surge. Why is it all her saying stuff? The air gear is looking good, but I bet you can power it up even more. Solar albums are okay, but don't you think collabs are much more fun? Isn't the sky beautiful here? I mean, it's not really a sky, right? Does that make it less beautiful or not? Woo! Ancient Truth says she looks at spreadsheets all day and not get... I, I don't... Bro, the text goes by too fast. Did you know you can jump back to any previous kettles directly from the menu? Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. Wait, did we have this exact conversation or was that just a dream? My genuine reaction to that information. Oh, I can't hit. M I can't hit Marie. I'm, I'm crying. Let me hit you. You were the worst squid sister. You must be perished. I don't make the rules here. She is worse. Mm, I could go to the next level, but I want to look for hidden secrets in the world first. Without necks here, it might be harder to find that. Wait, what was that one thing? Oh, he found something. Um. Cool. I found something, I think. What is it? Oh, yo. Pack the cards. Okay, my little buddy can help me find stuff. I think I'll stay the whole campaign as an Oculing, honestly. I was thinking of switching between them, but, like... I mean, realistically, I have, like, what? All of Splatoon 1, all of Splatoon 2 as an Inkling, and then I have Octo Expansion and this as an Oculing. It's, it's balanced. As all things should be or something. I don't know. I'm just looking around the hub right now to find to see if I can find some stuff before I take on any levels. Okay, I think I found pretty much everything. Yo, that's kind of cool. It's like those 3D Mario games are that you can just like look at random stuff. With the binoculars. It is pretty cool. It's a lot bigger and more 
to jump around in than the other Splatoon Hub worlds. It's definitely never been this big. What if I just threw him around to look for a skull? Oh my god, he's dead. Nothing around here? Okay, well, I guess I kind of just wasted my time. Wait, why can't I jump on there? Yeah, I only found a pack of corns. Guess you can't really explore till later, can you? What's over here, though? Anything? No. Okay. Enough dilly dally. Yeah, what's over here? Oh no, he just stands around sometimes. Wasn't there like a kettle or something that I was missing? Alright, yeah, damn it. Oh, cool. That's neat. Whammy! Eh, I'll just go here, I guess. Get to know Alterna, your only choice. Show up your skills and reach the goal. Bruh. Yo, this looks sick. Do you hear something? Activate it. System checked. Okay. Authentication. All systems nominal. Commencing biometric scan. Scan complete. No matches found. Commencing registration sequence. Bzz, bzz, beep, beep. Cool day. Oh, what the heck? My name is Orca. I am what you might call a navigation system for alternate citizens. Well, what's that? Where's that voice coming from? Welcome to Alterna, citizen. Please enter your identification to proceed. Uh, it's like setting up a phone for the first time. I guess just follow the instructions, Agent 3. Processing, processing, processing. Ding! Your name has been accepted. Thank you for registering, Agent 3. Alright, I kind of just did a FNAF hand unit voice there. A little bit. Cool, looks like it's official, Agent 3. My circuits are designed to measure your actual intellectual and physical prowess, as demonstrated by your ability to complete missions throughout Alterna. In each mission, you must reach a goal mechanism or complete an objective. Your extraordinarily citizens will complete many missions and receive many power eggs. You can expect a substantial power egg payday in par particular for this first mission. May your enthusiasm result in success, citizen. Is all of that going to be on the test? Because all I really heard was power eggs. That seems like the important part. We'll need plenty of those if we're going to find cramps. One last thing. As you complete missions and become an ever more exceptional citizen, you will naturally gain access to the Alterna Log. Do not attempt to share the Alterna Log without permission. Please handle this information with care. And please consider this a threat. Have a nice day! <laughs> oh my god. Please consider this a threat. Have a nice day. Alterna log, huh? Well, something's been added to your menu. I want to pee. Uh, but I won't. I guess all we can do for now is to collect power eggs and work on removing that fuzzy ooze. I mean, all you can do, Agent 3. Yeah, what do you guys do? Just sit there and look pretty? <laughs> Experiment equipment initializing. Please select a mission. Oh, uh, weapon. Yeah, you can pick a weapon. You can pick different weapons. That's sick. Oh, wait. I only have one right now. Sad. Okay, that's different from the other games, though, because you'd only have the regular shooter. Mission will begin as soon as you pass through that gate. Power eggs are required. You will be given an opportunity to make your payment before entering. Initialization... Ah. Initialization complete. Data harvesting and analysis complete. I mean, commencing. Best of luck, Agent 3. So that's it then? Great. Come on, Agent 3. Let's get moving. Um, it's kind of foreboding. No fee. No. Yeah. Yo, know, the sick music. Let's go. 
All right, I'm trying to. Let's see what you got. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yo, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. What? I, I'm sorry. I didn't know I can grind rails in this game. I'm gonna grind this rail and do it right this time. Yo, this is sick. Yo. Hey, yeah. Okay. Nice, you made it. I spy three volts and three keys straight ahead of you. Yo, I love the vibes this level gets off. Feels like the game really started now. Yeah, I think so too. I don't remember being able to grind on well, grind on the rails, but I know you could like zip through it and switch for. Don't sweat it, Ancient Three. You've got eight. Okay, I didn't get to read that, but whatever. The flowing macaroni fountain, I tell ya. Doesn't look like a simple jump will get you there. Um. Oh wait, I know what to do. Yes. Small fry. Now he's all the more relevant. I, like, I kept comparing him to Pikmin. And look what happened. Zane out Pikmin 4. I, I, I'm telling ya. Small Fry is a Pikmin. Basically. They knew what they were doing. Pikmin 4 is real. I can't believe it still. Frickin' Pikmin. Pikmin 4! I was so... Cr oh. Crap. I was popping off on stream about it. Ah, oh, I love the feeling of wind in my tentacles. Checkpoint! I love how they look like onion rings. Screenchy. Oh yeah, I ran over those from the first game. Oh yeah, you can't kill those things. I remember that guy. You got the Sonic Boost pads again. I'm not gonna read tutorial stuff, but the other funny dialogue is fine. Oh, they got the sponge thing too. I used to see a there was, there was a lot of those in Splat 1, too. Ooh, dual ride rails. You can hop back and forth at those, you know. Oh, this this is just Sonic again. I'm telling ya. The Sonic comparisons are real today. Damn it. I, I want to go back, though. Well, in the story mode, at least, basically, you're just going around linear stages, and, like, it's kind of like a platformer, and you're just getting a lot of power eggs, and, and basically just beating the stage. Not too crazy, but they're pretty fun, like, arcade-like experiences, kind of. You're just hopping in, having a good time. I just like the platformer vibes I get from it. And in the main game, where you're, like, you know doing the turf stuff, you have to cover, like, a lot of the, the main mode is turf war, where you co- Damn it, I wanna get that ring. You cover a lot of the map, as much of the map as you can with your team's turf color, and you have to try to beat the other team, basically, and it's pretty fun. Okay, there you go. There you go. I had to focus and explain that at the same time. Oh, that thing is kinda neat. Oh, I can. You grab, open up, and see what's inside. I try Zuka. Press R to get it ready. Then press Z to split enemies with a big kaboom. Okay. Oh, crap. That's pretty sick. The story mode's mostly just good fun with some lore here and there. And some puzzles sometimes, too, that you might have to figure out. 
Okay, I guess I go that way now. Oh crap, what is this doing? Oh, I see now. Oh crap. Nice, I got all the keys. Okay, and now I can do something. Yeah, go this way. Let's go. The objectives have varied from stage to stage, judging by what that guy said, because, like, I'm guessing there might be different kinds of missions in each level sometimes, so that's different, because most of the other games is just you go through the stage. Oh, I didn't need to skip that. Damn it. What if I just threw him? Can he get it? Damn it! What if I just perish? Why can't I go backwards on the rail? I'm just gonna die. Just, just, just perish. He need. I need the rings. Oh damn. Okay, whatever. It's all good. I'm gonna get those power rings. Darn it. You need them for stuff. I thought I had to jump into them, but... Here, I'm just going through them. Okay, um... Oh! No, um, zapfish? What is this? Okay, I got a thing. I don't know what that thing is, but... Oh, there's a clear time bonus thing? Oh, crap. They're gonna make me do the level fast, aren't they? I'm sorry, I don't play levels quickly. I, I take my time and get all the thingies. I'm the master of all the thingies. Nah, no time bonus. I guess you just get a certain amount of eggs depending on your time, but whatever, I don't care. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? It's, oh, just the same thing. Why are you allowed to splat Kali, but you can't splat Marie? I'm angry. I want to splat Marie. She must be perished. And if you have enough power eggs, you can access more of the map. Because, you know, game logic. They're basically like your collectible here. You need it to access more levels. They're pretty easy to get though, because you can get you just run around the stage and get them. But like, it's whatever. They're not like power stars where you just get them at the end of the level. Uh, I think I can go this way. Oh, I got an upgrade point. Okay, so there, there's this skull tree thing, I guess, and you can get like powers so that's cool i don't know what they all do yet though small fry eight wait small fry has hp i didn't know he could even die walking through enemy ink increase hero shots rate of fire ink takes capacity might get the ink tank upgrade i mean i'm gonna get all these eventually anyway but oh wait i can't get that much things yet. Damn it. I'll just get whatever's the cheapest right now. Oh wait, I need whatever that thing is too. Damn it. How do I get those? Oh, he found a thingy. Is it another pack of cards? Oh, Rx. Okay, let me just ask next real quick where I find those white swiggly line things.
Okay. Um. I guess I'll explore over here. There might be some stuff. Oh, wait. No, not enough space. Damn it. How am I going to take cool screenshots now for Mudai? Oh, there's another thing. Oh, a scroll. There's lore here. Visit a sparkling city of chaos. The hottest piece in the Splatlands. Anarchy Avenue. Walk it. Feel it. Live it. Special collection. Walk the spot till walk. Page 54. I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. Ah! Uh, I hate having no picture thing. I have to delete stuff on my Switch. Make some room. Oh, got an upgrade point. Cool. Um... There's probably nothing here. Still, yeah, I'm just over here right now. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the next stage. What else? Wasn't there a stage over here, though? Oh, am I misremembering? Bro, did you play it already? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks pretty neat from what I saw of it. In a golf game. Did that... stage already? Octopods at rest... at rest tend to flip out. Damn, it's already been 28 minutes. I haven't even been doing anything in this game yet. I only beat one level. What the heck is wrong with me? I gotta step it up. I mean, I'm in the right- Oh! Well, I've never used the umbrella. I think I would want to use the splatling. But that's cool to give the stages more options. You can pick, like, three weapons. That's pretty pog, man. I love the spotling, so I'm gonna pick that. Easily one of my favorite weapons in one, and probably one of my favorites in two, but I don't really know, because I didn't play a lot of two. I never even used the umbrella, and I know that game added the umbrella. Whoa, there's a ton of them. I love the freaking 80 vibe, 80s vibes of the song. Oh, yo, what the heck? Okay, those Octoling guys are weird. Those Octarians are weird. I don't know if those are even Octarians. They look like aliens. Splatling gun, let's go! Yeah, I was a Splatling, um, slosher main. AKA the bucket. Is what I would normally call it, but... Man, this music's banging. Oh, looks like there's some stuff over here. Oh, 
Oh crap. Okay. She was right. I do be ambushed. Oof. Okay, those guys are explosive. Holy crap. That was cool. Oh my god. Also, I'm not really good with the charger weapons, but they definitely exist. That is for sure. Oh wait, I have these curling bombs? Cool. Oh, those guys are strong. I gotta heal. I don't know, I'm kind of an on-the-move player. So, like, I'm not really good at those types of weapons. I like to move a lot on the field of battle. Charging a splat link's a little different because it feels like you're doing active damage. Yeah, that's true. Yo. Easy. That's it? That was a short stage. I don't know what that thing is, though. Mission complete! Mission complete! Let's go. Wow, well, these levels are a lot shorter than the first games, but I don't think that's a bad thing. You kind of just go from level to level. They're short, short and sweet. Not overly long. They're just kind of fun. I wonder if there's any things like the amiibo challenges from the first game and this game. Because, like, those amiibo challenges... Some of those amiibo challenges were insane. I hated the freaking limited ink capacity ones. Those were so... so hard. But, like, I felt like I got something for the amiibo other than just, you know, it giving me the gear right away. Like, you had to... Not only did you skin the amiibo to get the gear, you had to work for that gear. What caused the Big Bang? You. That's kind of sus. Destroy all the targets in one shot. I don't know. Did I get one of those squiggly things yet? Kettles. Alright. A technology advance at exponential pace. So true did prosperity. And ultimately complex. Before long, the entire world was embroiled. Okay, interesting. No, I don't have any of those swiggly things yet. Looks like a sardine, I don't know. Boom. Eat it. Eat that stuff up. 
Oh, a decoration. Uh, give me a sardine. Dang. Oh, it's a scroll. Yeah. Long ago, our splat splatted lands were almost washed away by a great flood. What is this, Wind Waker? All was presumed lost, until three lights appeared, and united to con consume the disaster. Thankful for their salvation, the townsfolk threw a festival with three portable shrines as a tribute. Ah, uh, so I guess this is post Splatoon 2 War? I don't know. I mean, it show I mean, the upside down thing wasn't in the other game, so I don't know. Eat that stuff up, man. Okay, what was the point of that? It just made a part of this for me to swim up. Cool. I feel like I wasted my eggs. Not like I didn't want to open the whole map anyway, but like... Kind of weird. Oh, what did you find? Oh, thank you. Oh, Sardinium! You can use that to upgrade your hero gear. Okay. Better hero shot, ink resistance, ink tank capacity, small fry ink. Oh, you could get two of those. Splat bombs, sensor. I like that one, but I need three Sardinium. Burst bombs. Oh yeah, all these are a ton. Hmm, I think I'll just do something simple, like my ink tank. No, I mean, I suppose I haven't ran out of ink ever so far, so I'll get that instead. Wait. Oh, I get it. So I have to fill the tree the way the game wants me to. So I have to get the freaking small fry first? I don't care about small fry. Oh, fine. I'll get that one. That'll benefit me later, shortly. I thought it was one of those skill trees where you can just pick whichever one you want in whatever order. Go get it. Little guy. Oh, I do like exploring. On my little guy. Go to this one. Zip, splat, and jump. I'm gonna get some water here. Hold up. Stretch, grab, and cling your way to gold by mastering the use of the zip cast. What the hell is a zip caster? Oh, wait, is that like the little line thing? The zip lines? I don't know. Wait, stretch your arm? What? What is this? What the hell? What is this? My Spider Man? Holy shoot! I'm Spider Man now! Okay, this better be in the regular game. I want to freaking swing a stage like Spider-Man. Holy crap, that's so cool. Spider-Man. Let's go. The Amazing Agent 3. I'm gonna add that. The Amazing Agent 3. 
That, that has to be a Spider-Man pun, too. Because, I mean, it's like the amazing Spider-Man. The helmet thing looks pretty cool, too. Uh, okay, am I gonna use my stretchy arm to hit it? Eh, whatever. Splatacular. Splat that has to they're just making Spider-Man jokes, aren't they? Am I the Splatacular Agent 3 now? What are they gonna say next? Um frickin' I don't know. I can't think of any other Spider-Man titles. Right now. But this is a cool level. Makes you really feel like a quick Splash Sonic. Okay, never mind. Maybe they're just making rabbit hole puns. And it's a coincidence. Are you kidding me? I'm dead? Have to restart the whole stage? Whatever. I'm bad at this, so it's fine. Spectacular. I like this song. Okay, what if I just hide in the ink? Surely this will benefit me, right? Damn, that shield is strong. What am I supposed to do? Splash on this thing. Uh, Ink Extraordinary. Woo, running low on the puns, the pun man. Uh, oh, yo, yeah, you can just kill them all with that. I see now. Yo, that's sick. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Incredible. Looks like you use those pillars. Work your way up in super style. Yo. This is sick. This is sick. Wait, I just went right through that. Are you kidding me? I hit that thing, man. Wow, are you an actual superhero? I feel like one. Right about now. This is pretty neat. Don't be afraid to hang out for a second. Check out your surroundings. Yeah, true. I'm kind of looking around. I want to get up there, because that's where the eggs are. Um, that's not what I want to do, but... I mean, I guess it checks out. I just did this to get up there. I mean, you can't really climb the walls like Spider Man, but I mean, I can do this. Oh, here we go. The splat pot. Or whatever pun I can make here. Nice. Worth it. The coolest level for sure so far. Um, 
don't really know where to go now. There's a little power-up thing over there. I can get that. Oh wait, this is a lot of eggs. But I mean... Still helpful. Oh yeah, I wanted to get up to that thing. There is more stuff up here. Wow, you're pretty high up. Hope you aren't afraid of heights. Every superhero needs a reliable, relatable weakness, Ancient One. True. Goku, afraid of needles. At least in anime, not in canon. Because that scene didn't even happen in the manga. Okay, I know Goku isn't actually a superhero, but same difference. Boom. Go, Web, go. Oh crap, an Octo Sniper? That's new. What if I just... Okay. Yep, this Sniper. Okay. Well, he definitely did snipe me. Wait. Oh, are you kidding me? It gets rid of all my freaking things. Well, not all of them, but... Um... Hold up. Incredible. Um... I would argue that... Actually... Wait, it died in like two hands. Now for the big heroic finish. No pressure. Da -da -da. Yeah, that was sick. That's pretty cool. I hardly even used my regular weapon there other than shooting a couple of times at the enemy. So that's neat, I guess. Now I have a thousand of these things. Oh yeah, CF, have you ever played Breath of the Wild? I recommend that game, if not. It's really cool. Oh crap, I'm stuck over here unless I super jump. I guess it's only one. I have a lot of those things now. What? You own Breath of the Wild, but have- What the heck, man? All new ones coming out soon. And by soon, I mean like six months or something. It's like one of the best games ever, at least in my opinion. Not in other people's opinion, but I thought it was pretty good. And the sequel is probably going to be even better. Okay, increase the hero shot's rate of fire. Uh, I can't do any of that. Oh wait, I can. 
I mean, that's why I want it anyway. Oh, wait, I can't get that. Never mind. Oh, what is it? Go. Dang, no sardinium. I'm gonna cause the big bang now. Woomy. Although I could look around a bit more. Wow, all the ink I spread on the map still is there. I, from when I started. It's pretty cool. Wait, is there anything up here? No. Oh, uh, you can go back to the crater if you want, but no reason to now. Everything's different. Yo. Love all these little things you can pick up for your locker. Oh, another thingy. Yo. Okay. Back to the level. What? Oh, it's a little trial thing. You know, these were in Splatoon 1 as well. I remember this. Okay. No, oh my god, there's the Moai head! I'm afraid now. They're so raw. Oh, he can eat that. Bruh, he's just dying. Fruit ticket, huh? That's neat. That could help me somewhere. You know, I'm getting some real Breath of Wild vibes from this map. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe a little bit, though. Okay, get that balloon. Oh my god, are you kidding me? There's no way. Damn it. Well, I didn't know I had to erase this thingy first. Yeah! I was just complimenting it right after you, 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 you said you didn't play it, bro. I mean, in my opinion, it's like one of the best games ever, but it depends on who you ask. Some people don't like it as much, but, like, I think it's a very special game, at least. So, uh, even if you don't, you know, know if you'll like it, it's, I'd say definitely give it a shot. It's pretty, it's pretty special. For sure. It's a magical kind of game. I think it's the perfect time now to play it, because, like, the sequel's coming out soon. So it'll all be fresh. Then again, you might not want to play the sequel if you just beat Breath of the Wild. Depending on how long you're playing Breath of the Wild for, because it's just that type of game, man. 
It's kind of commitment to play Breath of the Wild, but like, it's it's a special game. I love it. I have like over like 200 hours on Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that's fair. That's how, that's how it is for most Zelda games for me too. But like, Breath of the Wild, even though it was like even bigger than any of those games, I I just kept playing because like it was just that fun for me. I like exploring in games, and that was just that kind of game for me. So I'd rather use the regular one, not a scope. They're both scopes. It's both- they're both charger weapons. What is the difference? I don't know. Wait, I don't have enough power eggs! Are you kidding me? I need power eggs to enter now. Um, what do I do? Go back to another level? I'd say you might be able to focus on Breath of the Wild, but it depends on what you think. Also, yes, Smash is its own series. You didn't play Zelda if you played Smash. Capo. Unless you meant something else, in which case, I don't know. Like, I don't play Smash and I'm like, yeah, I played Pikmin. I didn't really play a ton of Pikmin. Oh, well, I mean, you can call Smash... I mean, it's still its own franchise. You can say Smash is one of your favorites. I just wouldn't consider it a part of any of those franchises, personally. What am I supposed to do? I have no eggs. Do I go back to another level? Yeah, um, maybe I'll find some eggs on the map. I don't know. Maybe it was a bad idea to use all my eggs on these freaking stupid things. I'm sad now. I guess you could say I put all my eggs in one basket. Meh. I'm funny. This is the pro Breath of the Wild chat. Okay. Well, I guess I could go back here and do this mission again real quick with a different weapon. It wouldn't hurt. Splat Brella. No fee on this one. Oh, interesting weapon. Oh, maybe this is a better choice, because I get to defend against them. Shield. Well, this is a short level, so I don't mind playing it real quick to get some extra eggs. Even though I don't have to. Next said I could find yellow kettles to do, like, to get more eggs, but, I mean, I'm already in the level, so. I don't know. For me, I'd say Sonic, Mario, Kirby, Crash, maybe, after Kirby. Um, actually, I'd put, I mean, okay, Kir Mario, Sonic, Kingdom Hearts, Kirby, Smash. Actually, I put Smash above Kirby. Um, Crash, maybe... I'm trying to think. Um, actually, no. Put Undertale above Crash. I don't know what else. I, how I would rank it. I'm just making this on the spot, but... I'd say 
for my top ranked franchises, so I might have to order them. Also, I don't know where I put Dragon Ball, it's kind of tricky. Maybe above Kingdom Hearts? I don't know. I mean, that's not even a game franchise, but, I mean, it's still, like, one of my favorite, like, franchises ever, so. Still counts. We're talking big franchises, so. Um, Crash. Maybe Castlevania after Crash. Though that's more of a recent one, so I'd rank it a little lower. But I do like it a lot. And then we got, like... Um... I'd put Mega Man there, too. I like Mega Man a lot, I just haven't played a ton of the games. But I know a ton of the characters, so I still like it quite a lot. Like, I know all the Mega Man characters, and I know a lot of the lore. You know, I like I like all the characters a lot. I just haven't played a ton of the games. It's kind of like Pokemon for me. I like... I kind of like the Pokemon games, but I don't know. I just haven't... Like, played a ton of them. I have watched more of the anime. I wouldn't say it's one of my top favorites, but... I like Pokemon quite a lot. It's just not one of my personal favorites. Like, I don't know if I'd put Pokemon on my top 10, even though I like Pokemon. I'm not as big as others would be on it, but I do like it quite a bit. I mean, I have a bunch of characters from Pokemon and Mudai, so, like, I like the characters. Just not really the material all the time. It depends. It depends. I don't know. I'm in, like, a boat war. I like Pokemon, but it's, like, weird. Also, I'm getting Scarlet, but I'm not gonna stream it, probably. Not at launch. Because, like, honestly, I mean, I like playing RPGs, but I don't think they do well for my channel. They take a ton of commitment, and uh, the way I play Pokemon, it would take too long. I don't want to not play Pokemon the way I want to, so I'm just gonna not stream it, honestly. I feel like that would do better for the channel. Because, like, everyone's... Like, every 200 million people are going to play Pokemon anyway. So, like, I won't really make any impact by new Pokemon, specifically. I gotta be a really big fish on why I want it to fry something like the biggest media franchise ever. i definitely recommend more RPGs. Play something like Kingdom Hearts. Because, like, I mean, that's easy to get into, I would say. It's not too complicated, and the, you know, the combat, it's not, I mean, it's kind of like an RPG, but, like, playing action RPGs isn't, like, really playing. It's still an RPG, but it's kind of, like, not an RPG, because you're, like, running around and swinging at things, which kind of makes it more like an action game than an RPG, I'd say. But, I mean, I guess there's a reason it's called an action RPG. Like, I, I, inherently, sometimes I find the action RPGs to be more interesting, but, like, I don't know. Yeah, or like, in Kingdom Hearts, you can roll around, dodge, attacks, you're doing all your hits yourself, not controlling somebody, like, I get that. Turn-based isn't for everyone, but I like turn-based RPGs, they're fun. It just depends. Like, I haven't, like, picked up and played and finished, like, very many of them, but... I like the ones I played, it just depends on how much time you're willing to sink into a game. And sometimes waste time. Like, I'm the biggest fan of wasting time, so I don't really care if I have to grind in a game or whatever. Like, it's fine. Not everyone's an RPG guy. But yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like Kingdom Hearts is a good non-RPG player type of RPG to me. Because it kind of feels like a platformer in a way. At least if you're playing the first game. The second game is, like, full action mode. It's crazy. Yeah, me too, because that's how I play games. I'm just, like... I play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, for example. Bunch of randomly generated rooms. I kill literally every enemy in every room. And even though that's, like, incredibly boring, I just do it. Because I'm like, okay, whatever. 
I want to get all the experience. Get all the cards and whatever in that game. And like in Kingdom Hearts, I go after like every enemy I see. And it, it's, it doesn't get old in that game, it's fun. Like, fighting get enemies is fun in Kingdom Hearts, so I'm like, whatever. I have fun doing my characters. In some games, it feels more like a chore, but I feel like in KH is fine. Go, my little schmoopley. Yeah, uh, me too. I, when I play Pokemon, I try to go after every Pokemon all at once. Like, if I'm just going on a route, I, like, look at what Pokemon on the route. I try to find all the Pokemon. Like, not, like, you know, I'm gonna go back here later. I'm gonna catch that Pokemon. No, I have to catch all of them now. Like, if I'm playing. Like, I go crazy. That's why I kind of stopped playing Pokemon. Not only because XY disinterested me partially after playing midway through it, but, like, I, I, the way I play, I just can't really play Pokemon. I can't help who I am. I just, I get all the thingies in every game I play. Unless I'm just not interested, and then I don't. Like, even in frickin' Bubsy, like, you see me grabbing all the frickin' pieces of yarn. Or, like, Mario, I could bash the blocks, get the coins, kill all the enemies, grind out the whole stage. I'm just that kind of gamer. I'm very much a grind type of person. Wait, this isn't the stage I wanted to do. I don't know. It's pretty interesting stuff. Oh yeah, me too. When I'm leveling my Pokemon, everything is literally equally balanced, so I always switch out the first member in the party. And then I'm like, okay, this guy's the same level as this guy. Now I can go forward with leveling this guy. Or, like, my Persona party is, like, the same thing. Like, anything like that, I just equally level the whole party. So everyone, no one has any imperfections. They're all equally strong. I'm, like, weird with it. It's fun, though. It's fun to do it that way. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, this bang... Big Bang level. Oh. Never mind, I'm doing this one. Okay. Oh, yo, I'm blue in this stage. That's cool. Hobby of extreme face painting. Ooh, I like this mission. Cover as much as you can with the ink. That's like my favorite thing to do. I'm a pro ink fan and I got a slosher. Wait, this doesn't even look like a slosher. It looks like a freaking doom gun. Okay, so cover the whole stage with ink. Easy. Yo, we got funky vibes with this. Music. Wait, where's my... Oh. I like the 80s vibes that the soundtrack is giving off for the story mode here so far. And I thought Kali had a big head. Bruh. I guess you're just supposed to ink it up. I don't ask questions. Oh wait, I'm supposed to cover the head? Oh. I thought I was supposed to cover all the floor. Bro, this guy's gonna look so funny when I'm done with him. Okay, boys, it's time to paint the fence! We have Ancient Excess for 20% of all surface area. Wait, no, he really does want me to cover the whole thing with ink. 
See, most people would be like, oh, this mission's so boring. Me? I, I'm all about that. Just cover the whole thing with ink. It's boring to most people, but to me, I must cover every single freaking percent area of this map with ink. I don't care. Cover the whole surface. Why is there, like... Okay, there. It worked. I was like, that isn't covered. But yeah, if you can, get Kingdom Hearts on sale on Xbox. Immediately. Capo. Good games. Can't recommend it enough. I'm very much a shill for games I like. Very focused on the painting of inking of stuff right now. I feel like this is the most ideal weapon to do this with. You know, it has good coverage, so like, it uses a lot of ink. So I have to refresh, reload a lot. So this is what this guy meant, because, I mean, I'm doing it. I'm covering the surface. Maybe it's not what he meant, I don't know. Maybe I just wasted everyone's time, including my own. Oh wait, I could go up him. I kind of forgot about that. Bruh, I'm swimming up a Mawai head. Absurdity here is high. <laughs> he looks so funny. This is so funny. Look at him. Oh, maybe it is just the head I have to ink. I don't know. I'm sorry I wasted time painting the floor. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't have to swim up it like that. I can just do this. Boom! I mean, that's fun too. Why do you keep asking if I'm afraid of heights? This isn't helping. Okay, this isn't everyone's idea of fun, but I think it's kind of fun. In a not fun kind of way. Surely it wasn't HM1. What's that supposed to mean? Bruh, they're so savage. Oh, I can stand here. I'm an expert anchor. Didn't you see my stats on the freaking first Splatoon stream? I was always like number one turf anchor on each team, on most teams I played on. I excel at that. I'm good at turfing, but not at killing people, necessarily.
try it, Mike Don. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, that was kind of fun. The victory music in these levels sounds like freaking Super Monkey Ball, I swear. Like, it's like a Super Monkey Ball 2 victory theme or something. I don't know. I can't believe I got paid 1000 for that stage. What is that? Oh, so I'm going back here. I want that freaking thing for the thing. I want to get the balloons. Yo! Upgrades. care about mobility when walking through enemy ink. Why would he want to walk into enemy ink anyway? As humans squabbled, natural disasters intensified. Volcanic eruptions leveled cities. The sea rose and began to consume the planet. Humanity experienced a mass extinction event. Okay, that's uh, pretty cool, I guess. Ugh, sorry everyone. Got allergies today. I don't know why. Oh yeah, the balloon thing. Damn it. Okay. in the Splatlands have wildly different methods of serving up clam mochi. Inkopolis style means a clam wrapped in mochi, but Splatlanders wrap the mochi with clams. What's the difference between a, between a clam wrapped in mochi and a mochi... Oh wait, never mind. I see what they mean now. I was like, huh? They also sprinkle on sesame seeds and top it with hot sauce. Hmm. Smat Splatville's claim to fame. Interesting. Okay, next level in a second. I'm gonna eat more things for my guy. Yeah, what's this? Nothing here? I don't know. I might help with something eventually.
Eh? There's another balloon. I want to get the balloon. Ow. Get that balloon. Okay, I can't hit that right now. Next level. Feel like we're through most of the world almost. Oh, what's this? Me, that's fine. Okay, well I can get up there. Oh, there's another head. Yes, let's go. Oh, there's a thingy. It's fun to clear the map of the stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. enough now. Yo. Oh, I see. What? Okay. I didn't know that's what they meant. Is that the target there in the middle? Oh, I see. You're supposed to splat the big balloon and then it'll blow up everyone. That's it? That's the mission? Okay. Well, that was worth the 50 entry requirement. That's for sure. You do one thing and then the whole thing is over. Bruh. Okay, well, um, time to open more gate thingies. Well, at least I can find most of those regular things. I need 400. Dad. Oh, I get to use the arrow thing. 
Needs to go with the tri stringer. Okay, so I just gotta. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, new weapon. Let's start. The manual says if you shoot while jumping, aim will come out vertically. Worth a shot here. Oh, bro, this is just like those Zelda things. Oh, my head's gone off again. Oh, I see. You gotta, like, jump around a lot, I guess. I don't really know how this thing works. It takes longer to charge. That's all I know. Eh. I just wish it were a little faster. Otherwise, it's kind of cool. Bruh, the ink coverage is terrible. I wouldn't want to use this for turfing. It's good for killing, though, I guess. It's good for some assassination mission. This music really giving me some Persona vibes right now. Really getting some Persona vibes from this song. No, I'm actually not. I'm just annoying. It does sound cool though. I don't know, unless you're a support on the team and trying to kill people, I mean, it might be fun. I'd say it might be good for splat zones. Launch pad is just reminding me of Mario Galaxy. how much they talk to you during the story mode. It's always fun. What the? What am I supposed to do? Okay, I may have to get past the sneak past them. Oh. Get it? Oh, the ink is on the wall, so it hits them. I think. I 
don't understand what I'm doing to kill these guys. Damn it! Okay, this stage is kind of annoying. But most of them have been pretty fun so far. I don't know. Just not a fan of the weapon. That's the only thing. Well, they definitely want me to shoot that thing. I just don't know why. You can, you don't always have to charge, you can like, rapid fire it. First of all, I'll probably want to cover part of the ground to keep myself safe here. From these menaces. Damn it! Screw off! Okay. Oh, I get it now, they explode on contact. Is that it? Okay, I kinda see. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Okay, well, that's kind of annoying, but whatever. Yeah! Are you kidding me? Ah! I'm fine. Well, I mean, they up the challenge. That's for sure. I'm just not e equipped for this right now. Not an not a bone error guy, that's for sure. Bruh, really? Was it that easy to kill them? I don't know. I'm bad at it. Wow, was it really that easy? I'm just I'm I'm dumb. I made this look so hard. It wasn't that hard actually. Man, I feel dumb now. <laughs> I, I, I gave the game too much crap here. I'm sorry, game. I'm just not good at games. Apparently. <sighs> okay, we're almost done with this world. That's cool. Let's try Stringer. Let's go over here. Yo, that's stuff. Nice.
Hey, it's that balloon again. Where is it going? What the? It's so high up. Aha! Gotcha. What you find, little scamp? Nice. Always enjoy me some good free eggs. No, too many eggs. You got that big pimple over there. Oh, never mind. Too big. Pricey now. Oh, what you find? Yeah, I can't do any of this right now. What about over there? levels. Error. Against the odds computed to be 40, 40, 42,791 to 1, some human survived. Therefore, the planet was only nearly completely hospitable, inhospitable to life. Wait, so there's surviving humans in this world? What? What are you talking about? Who? Okay, I have to find more levels. Maybe I should use that to help. Oh, I forgot a couple up there. Oh wait, no I didn't. Damn it. Maybe I didn't do that one. What if I just shot it from over here? I can't reach there right now, but I can still hit it. I mean, I just hit it a little bit. I will cheese this, darn it. Squid game more. Dang it. You know what? No, I don't need to do any of that. Wait. Come on, it just made the ping sound like I just hit it. Uh, there has to be a way to hit it. Yard. I'm angry, so I'm just gonna perish. Oh, what's this? Oh, crud. don't know what to do. Actually, I could just redo that one level that has a 50 fee. Oh, wait, I didn't see that one. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Hi there. 
the true chungus boy. Um, blaster, burst, bomb. Let's use this one. I'm trying to beat this world before I end the stream. I don't usually use offense weapons, so why not mix it up? Ah, oh, crap. If I die again, I'm gonna cry. Okay, defense isn't high, that's a problem. Oh crap, they do so much damage. Okay. Fine, I'll figure it out. I got this. Bruh, how are you supposed to avoid them? Okay, okay, it's fine. What if I just jump up here? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh, I guess they can't get me if I'm on the high ground. I thought you were supposed to hide behind them something, but no, you're impervious to the damage if you jump on top. Okay, so don't be on the front lines. Hit them from up top. Got it. Ooh, I hate it when they jump out like that. Keep your eyes peeled for more in the area. Try Zuka, press R when you're ready to use it, then fire away with ZR. wasn't the best weapon to use. It's kind of slow. Firing right over here. Don't let your guard down just yet. Good idea. Oof. Oh crap, there's four of them. Oh crap. A safe approach. Nice. All right. Okay. We got it.
Okay. Nice. Sometimes I forget I can just jump around the map to make it easier. Oh, is that the boss? something later. Okay, I've just enough to do this level. I'm gonna be right back real quick. Okay, I'm just gonna end the stream here, but, um, I was planning on beating the boss, but, uh, it's okay. I'll, uh, do that next time, because I can just do the parts wherever I want. I mean, I could beat the boss this part, but I don't got time right now, so I'm just gonna end the stream. And, uh, we'll, we'll see a couple other levels in the boss next time, plus more of the second world. So, um, yeah, if you like, thank you everyone so much for watching, and if you like what you saw, make sure to follow, because I do Mario Kart Tour and, uh, Sonic, a lot of Sonic games, and other cool stuff like that. And I also have, um, archive channel on YouTube, same channel name, Ultra Mario 3K. So, um, yeah, thank you everyone for watching, and take care. Bye.